All right, so here we are in front of 206 Windbrook. This is in the Shallowford subdivision. This is the street. So chances are this might be your property line. I don't know 100% sure on that. But it looks like you can tell where they've mowed through here. So it almost looks like it, the property line goes up and then goes that way. I'll send you a map of the uh, property lines. And then over on this side, I'm not 100% sure where that property line is. But you're probably from the front there down the driveway you're probably about a hundred hundred feet off of the road the roof appears to be in good shape the siding actually looks like a higher quality of siding they have gutter guards on here for no so there's no gutter cleaning it's just a plus That would be your neighbor there. They're building a garage, small garage. Um, not sure if this is part of the property or not. I'll have to look at it again to make sure. So that would supply your gas logs. That's your heat pump there. There's your info on it. Siding looks really good. And this is quite a, so as you can see the land this way, there's probably about maybe 10, 12 feet from there to there. And it looks like a pretty steep drop off here. Yeah. And then back here where I am, I'm at least about, it's about a six foot drop over about a 30 foot run to where I am. So from right there at the crest to that, to where I am, which is about 30 or 40 feet away is a six foot, about a six foot drop. So that must be for drainage from the water up in the up around the yard just all comes out here so they put some thought into the drainage system and there would be one of your neighbors properties there and there was another one and you probably got about a hundred and I'd say about 120, 30 feet between here and and that house up there. Again, gar gutter guards on the back. The roof looks good. There's an old satellite frame up there, looks like. Landscaping really looks nice. But I have a feeling these trees were put in for privacy on the property line, but again, I'll have to figure out where that property line is. And it's just a slight slope down the hill there.
gutter guards on this side as well. So you're in here. This is, I think I told you before, it's like 15, 16 feet wide. And from back there to here is probably about, I would say 20, 22 feet, something like that. And your entryway here is about three feet by probably six feet. Ever assessed lights. The ceiling's probably about about a 15, 16 foot ceiling in here. And this is what I was saying earlier, and I think we kept cutting out, but this looks kind of dingy, like at that one, and that one, and that one, which I'm thinking it could just be maybe the fumes from the gas coming up because none of the side ones are discolored like that, like those are. And these, to me, kind of look dingy, but they could be that way on purpose. And I don't know how well this is showing up on camera. But we're back in, still in the living room. This is a dining room. With nice crown molding. Smooth ceilings. The floors are luxury vinyl plank. So the cabinets are semi-soft clothes. No, they're not. These are not, the drawers are not. Although the drawers do look, look semi-custom, semi but they're not on a good quality roller, it feels like. The, if you can hear that. And then something's been spilled in that one, but. They appear to be built in place. But they used real wood on these on the cabinets, so I mean they did somewhat put some thought into it. Then you got all uh, I think they call it black mat appliances. So instead of, this should be a breakfast area, but instead of leaving it open, they put a bar here. And you could put stools here. Now they did go with a little, uh, a thicker granite. This feels like it's probably an inch and a quarter or so. Some houses will only have a three quarter to one inch. And then this is the garage. They used uh, T111 on the walls in here. It's basically a barn siding. Two car garage. It looks a little tight. It's probably only about 22 feet wide. And the door is roughly 20 feet. And there's no out of the way odors in the house, no weird smells or anything. Now it does look like, it almost looks like some patchwork right here. I think that's showing up on camera. And the same thing right there. So I don't know. And then directly over my head right here. And I'm not sure why this ceiling would be smooth in here and this one, the popcorn look. Anyway, let's uh, look in the laundry. Again, it's a smooth ceiling. I have to see if these appliances stay. Uh, utility sink here and cabinets there. But this room is probably 
I'd say six, seven feet wide by maybe 10 feet long, 10 or 12 feet long. And then you're back in the kid, uh, living room. So you come to the first bathroom and they call these units cave units. They don't too much use these anymore. This feels real solid. No evidence of leaks there. This is nice because they have storage under there. This cabinet actually, uh, with the rollers, feels like a better quality roller than is on the kitchen. I guess I use that for hanging clothes too. Again, this is a uh, textured ceiling. Can't see anything in this one. Let me look in here. And something I didn't look at. Uh, this one's smooth. Bedroom is textured. Carpet. It's got some wear on it. Um, Feels like when walking on it, it's a good quality carpet and pad, though. That must, that's the brain for their elect, uh, alarm system, which is not currently active. That's one bedroom. And then this is just a linen closet. I think at one time there may have been carpet all throughout and this flooring was put in separate afterwards or was switched to this because the car there's still carpet in the closets. That's just what makes me think that. Then you go in this room. Now this is a good sized room. It's probably about 12, 14 feet by about same distance square. Again, textured ceiling, walk-in closet, carpet's got a little wear on it there. My goodness, now this is huge. Um, this room is probably 25 feet across from from that wall to this wall and then this wall I would say about 16 feet to, from wall to wall and then your ceiling up there I'd say it's about 15 feet like in the uh, living room now there is a patch job right here it looks like an old patch job uh, I know when we were talking you were saying you thought this house was three years old. I think this house is older than that, uh, given some of the finishes and the materials used. I think there's been some updates along the way. Now, uh, in here, we have a smooth ceiling. And a massive, just open floor right here. It's just a walk-in shower. There's no door or nothing. And this room is probably about 12 feet wide by same distance this way, 12 feet. And then you go to this room. This is a closet. Again, textured ceilings. Uh, carpet. There's no stains or anything, but again, it's the same carpet that's in the rest of it. Now let's go out back. So 
this is your back porch view. And there's your roof and your gutter guard. Now, this railing could really be used some improving because instead of using a post here, they just came up here, but it used it a butt butt in connection, and then put this at a 45 degree angle, which it is stiff, but it's just not. I don't know. It looks like. Your Uncle Joe did it or something. That's a gate to go to the side yard. Nice pool. It's it's not a huge pool. It's almost like someone put an, in, an above ground pool in the ground. Then there's a hot tub and it's... I would say probably 20, 25 feet across. It's like a, use that for like a dry riverbed look. Well, they, they fastened the deck to the house properly. If you see there, there's your lag bolts or carriage bolts. And they use two by eights on this, not just two by sixes. So that's good. And this is all concreted under here, so you could definitely use it for some kind of storage or keep a, a pup under there. That's your pool pump. And this is a full 6830 door. It's a full exterior door, entry door. There's the water heater. They use the um, engineered I-beams on this for construction here, which is pretty good. They can carry a pretty good weight over a longer distance than dimensional lumber. Looks like they have vapor barrier down under most of this. I can't tell if it's, it doesn't appear to be back in there. And this is a nice little concrete pad here. It's probably about 16 by 16 in here. They've got some shelves put together. And that's, a, that's about it. And then there's a side gate there. There's a gate over there. So you've got plenty of ways to enter the backyard. And this is a double gate, so if you needed to pull some a truck in here for something or whatever. Now, I will say this. I, I don't like that. But this is not a load-bearing slab either. But I would be almost willing to bet that the water coming out of those, off of that, that doesn't go into the gutter, the water sheeting over it, coming down, has washed this away over time. I'm not, I don't have any proof of that, but that's what I'm thinking happened. Because gutter guards are good for keeping leaves and debris out, but they also keep some of your water out that needs to go in your gutters. Alright, so that's it. I'll get this to you guys.